good uh, good morning from Chicago land. This is Munira, the CEO and founder of Kismet Ventures. I am a John Maxwell certified coach and um, have a um, following on YouTube that's called Munira's Musings. I am on a mission to find people that are adding value to others and I try to find them and expose them and promote them by doing these segments. My guest today is John Mejia. Hi, John. Thank you so much for attending and doing this interview with me. Hi, thank you. It's a pleasure and an honor being here, sharing with this time with you. And so, John, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a executive director with the John Maxwell team, and I'm also a program coordinator for the Spanish platform. Um, I've been on the John Maxwell team since 2015. Um, I have I live in West Palm Beach, Florida, so a little bit of uh, different weather from Chicago land. Um, and I have uh, I actually partnered up with another John Maxwell uh, member. And we have a company called Pinnacle Performance Team. His name is Fabio Garcia. We do uh, trainings, um, we do seminars, we do coaching, everything around uh, leadership and, and communication. So we work with individuals, we work with companies. Uh, locally, uh, we do Spanish and, and community too. And overseas, we have a few projects in different countries where we do uh, the same thing and training, training and helping others develop and, uh, and grow. So I like the fact, I mean, everybody else that graduates from John Maxwell, you know, they do their own thing. I like the fact that you are transitioning the program into Spanish. So what does that entail? Well, the, the John Maxwell team um, started in 2011. Um, so first it was in English, then uh, Romania opens, then Spanish opened on, September, on February 2017. So it's a little bit more than a year. And Polish opened a month ago. Uh, for the next year, uh, we have uh, Japanese. Um, I know they're working on French. And they work in another, a few other language. Right now, we are on 19,000 members on the team. So basically, we're growing really, really, really fast. And, and the need to translate and to go to another countries uh, is a must. So um, when I joined as a program coordinator for the Spanish platform, it was like just sharing my experience as a, as a team member, uh, but for, this, for, the, for the Latin community. So uh, helping other people to join the team, um, guide them through the beginning. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure you know that when you join the John Maxwell team, it's like drinking water from a fire hose because it's so much information and you want to intake everything. But just uh, from nowhere to start, from, no, from starting where you are and using the right tools to go to the next level. So, so it's a process, but it's a... Uh, uh, um, very um, fulfillment process. That's, uh, yeah, you're right. It's like drinking water from a fire horse because you can't take this so much information for coaches that come on board. But I'm more interested in you telling me about the Spanish. What do you do? How do you do it? And wh wh how do you work with other people that are speaking Spanish to bring these programs to the Spanish community? Well, um, the... There is a big difference from uh, on, on cultures, okay? So here in America, um, everybody can do it. We empower everyone to do it. It doesn't matter if you're the boss, the owner, the employee, the manager, or, or, or someone that just started. Anybody can do it. Yes. Uh, a different culture in, 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 the Latin, in Latin countries is that um, he's the boss, so he's, he learns, and he tell me what to do. So uh, all those has start, all that that concept started changing a few years back, where anybody can learn and any can become anyone can become the boss. So it's becoming more popular and popular and popular. It's got becoming a trend. Uh, the personal the personal growth and development. So 
culture is still is still different. So f- for people to start on their personal development, they usually start on YouTube, on the videos on Facebook. They want to start, start uh, free. Like, once they get to a certain level that they know that need, they need to invest. Because I mean, if uh, they say that the power is on the information, but actually the power is how you apply that information. So once you start applying that free information, you understand that you need more. And that investment on yourself and in your personal growth is a must, it's essential. So, so then you start spending a little bit of money, a little bit of money. I don't wanna see, say spending, investing. It's a, it's a better word. You start investing on you, either in a book, either in a seminar, and then um, you wanna have uh, um, somebody behind you, some kind of support uh, and a structure. So that's where the John Maxwell team becomes uh, 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 pl- the place to go. I mean, there is so many programs out there. Uh, myself, I went to different programs. I did different certifications, but the ba- the values of those programs were different from the values that, that I had. So I always was uh, um, uh, choking with something, right? And uh, so, so with the John Maxwell, I just start believing on my own values, I sharing my own values. So, uh, so it was easier for me to to grow uh, within the team and to grow other people around me. So basically, uh, since I joined the team, my influence has changed, my leadership has changed, uh, my reach has changed. I was working locally. Now I. Uh, uh, we have some projects in uh, Colombia, on Chile. Um, I had the chance in March to go with John Maxwell to Costa Rica. I mean, it's so many opportunities that, that you have around you uh, once you start investing on yourself. It's a different awareness. That's great. So are you from Colombia? Yes, original from Colombia. I moved to the States uh, 20 years 20 years ago. No, because you said the first country you said was Colombia, and I know that's where the heart is, right? Where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah. So that's where my heart goes because anytime people are in a marathon or doing something, and every time I see the Kenyan flag, my heart just gives a jump, you know? It's cool, very hard. Cool, cool. So um, tell me so. Um, you said a lot of things. You said that you are now working with a partner. Is your partner also a John Maxwell certified coach? Yes, yes. Uh, his name is Fabio Garcia. He's also a executive director. Uh, he joined the team about the same time. Uh, and we live uh, maybe 20 minutes different. Uh-huh. So it's easier to work locally. I also have um, a few virtual programs that I work with other members. I work with uh, Misael Diaz in Boston, Massachusetts. I work with uh, Lehor Faith in Southern, Southern uh, South, Car- South Carolina. And um, I, I mean, you get to know so many people on the team and to co-work and collaborate with the team members. Uh, and it's easier to grow your business because uh, the level of awareness of the, of the members um, help you grow your awareness and help you uh, go the, the next step on, on, on your grow. That's true. So I know that the collaboration efforts within John Maxwell is awesome and everybody wants to help you succeed, right? That, that's an awesome thing. So um, why did you start coaching? I mean, you started just a few years ago, but what were you doing before that? Well, I've been on this in the, in the industry of uh, personal growth and development for 10 years. Okay. Uh, so I was uh, working with teams. I was training uh, uh, teams of 20, 30, 50 people, but I was learning by myself. It wasn't, I didn't have any structure. So um, I was reading books. I was going to seminars. I was uh, everywhere, taking information from everywhere. And um, I got to the point that I had a leak. The information that I was using, it wasn't enough. And the demand of that information was, was bigger. So that's why I decided to join the, the John Maxwell. Um, my, I, 
at the beginning, like I said, I didn't want to spend any money. I start investing little by little by little, and and then I decide to invest on myself, and it's been the best decision that I made, and uh, not just because of the journey or just because of my growth or my success, but it's uh, everything that is happening, the people that I get to know, that I get to share, um, the influence that you grow around you, really, that's that's a, a, a big difference. So what I hear you what I hear you say is that you know don't stinge on the fact that you have to grow. Just put yourself in personal development. So there are some people, you know, I mean, John Maxwell is a paid program. We you know that, and then it's it's a program. Maybe some people can afford, and maybe some people cannot. But if there is anybody who is thinking of personal growth and they are looking at okay, I want to do this, but I don't know where to start. So what do you tell people like that? Um, I tell them to start with a book. Uh, unfortunately, um, I will say 99% of people don't like to read. <laughs> so I start with an audio book. <laughs> Easy. You know, instead of listening to music while you drive, put an audio book, right? Once you start with one, then is the next one. Uh, look for for meetings uh, locally, for seminars locally, so you don't have to spend any money on travel. And little by little, I mean, you, you need to start somewhere. If you're not growing, you're staying behind, right? You need to start changing your thinking because everything around you is changing. Technology, religion, culture, everything is changing. So, so there are some people who say, I don't need to grow. Okay. So tell people that way. I mean, you know, there are people who say that, right? You yes, and I all the time, all the time, right. Uh, but and the truth is... I am, I don't need to grow. So what do you tell people like that? Well, it, it, that's when, when people say something like that, it's because they are in a comfort zone. That is not really a comfort zone. I will say it's a familiar zone because they want to get more, but they don't want to grow. No. I mean, if you want to go to heaven, I, there is a bunch of people that want to go to heaven, but they don't want to die. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. So, so you need to grow, you need to start changing yourself, but how you change, uh, my process is going to be different to your process. So that's a mistake that, that people that, that people make, that if, if my process is this, it has to be yours. No, it's totally different. I probably like to read, so I read 10 books, and you, you don't like to read, you let you read one book. That's your own spit. That's fine. That, that's okay. So it's, it's how you, you position yourself to go forward. Doesn't matter how, how fast, but to start going. Once you change, the things around you are going to start changing. If you say that you're okay with where you are, if you say that, that, that you don't need to grow, that means that you don't have goals, you don't have a purpose, you don't have a vision, right? You don't have a voice. If you want things, economic, your country, anything, anything to change, then you have to change first. If you start pointing the fingers are, are, are the things that are wrong with the world today, but are you, you don't do anything for yourself? And that's true because, you know, I, 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 I hear the politics that are going on and now people are now aware of the fact that, you know, they need to be involved with the right. voting and everything else. So now it's become more apparent to people that if they educate themselves more, then they have a voice, right? And you said right. because people don't have ambitions and I mean, they were thinking the country is going to be led by whatever, but now with all of these issues that have come up with the elections and all of that, now people are trying to see, you know, oh my God, I need to figure out what our government is about so I can have, you know, a voice where I can go when I'm voting, I know what I'm voting for. Right. And and so you're you're right you know everything is changing the government the religion the household things the technology everything is changing and it's getting better and faster than we can keep up on right right so so i think that 
uh, if we talk about leadership, leadership is divided on three components. Okay. Communication, guide, and, and education. Communication, you need to improve your communication. And more to, to improve communication, you need to learn how to connect with people. Yes. A lot of people communicate, but few people connect. When you con once you connect, you have more influence, you have a better relationship, you have more teamwork, you have, you have leadership, right? Now, the second part, uh, uh, to have a guide, either a teacher, a mentor, uh, a coach, those are three different things. Teacher, use a book to tell you what to do, right? Uh, a mentor teach you based on, on their experience. And a coach, a coach basically is just a sounding board that it help you find your own strengths and to find, to help you to, to find your own uh, uh, a purpose, your own vision. Yes. Because of this, starting on the principle that we all born perfect, but dying perfect. So we are able to do everything. It's not that because of you or man, woman, color, money, doesn't matter. Everybody's able to do it, right? And the third component is education. Not the old concept of education that you have to high school, college, university, no. I mean, education is learning, right? Uh, if you notice the places with less violence, it's because they have a higher level of education, okay? And, and it's not a higher level of university or college, it's just education, and education from home, from your parents, for your family, education, yes. The, uh, it's an intellectual education, but an emotional education too. So, so you need to start learning what you are. It, it, it doesn't matter if you don't wanna read about leadership, you can read about music. That's your passion is music or your passion is photography. You can be the best photographer. Sure. Um, through photography, you're gonna influence other people. Right, so, so I think that education is a key part. And, and if you uh, put all those three components together, you get the leadership, but leadership is, 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 is not a static, it's changing, it's changing. And the concept that we have of leaders, uh, either a political future, uh, figure, we say that's a leader, but they don't have any leadership. True. No, so so there is a there is no congruence on that concept. There is no it's a misconception, and and when when you start getting more information, when you start getting more awareness, then you start seeing things different. That's true. That's so awesome. That's true because nowadays, you know, we have information at the tip. You know, we have. Google and everybody has a cell phone so they can go into that and just type in something and get information. Mm -hmm. And now you have books that you can download on your phone as well. So you know, right. what I hear you telling other people is that build your values by reading and growing yourself. Because once you grow yourself, you can help others grow, right? Right. Now you're touching up in a great point is that you can find anything on the, on the internet. But sometimes the, 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 the point of where you find it is not the best source. So you need to be able to check different source. If it shows on the internet, it doesn't, doesn't mean that it's true. Yes. Right? I, I was, I was um, uh, looking at a picture the other day that, that it was showing some, um, some rust on some change and it said that the rust is caused uh, by oxy oxygen. Well, we breathe oxygen. That means that we rust inside. It's just, I mean, where are you getting your information? You know, so, so it, you need to check your sources because um, it, you have two opposite sides of everything, okay. right? You have two opposite sides. So, so it's, if you're just checking for information, you have to take the best of both ways, of both sides. Okay. You cannot go to one side and then go to the other side because then we, we get to the same situation that we've been in, in for years. That's why you don't talk to people about religion. That's why you don't talk to people about poli poli politics. That's why you don't talk to people about the sports because there is always two different sides and people go to the sides. 
they are not able to stay in the middle. <laughs> My father used to say that two such subjects to talk to people about is religion and politics. Never just discuss that. And that's, right. I think that's why it is because people don't discuss it because it offends other people. Right, right, exactly. You bring a good point because, so what I'm hearing you say is that invest in yourself, find a book or do audible books and invest in yourself. Doesn't mean you have to go buy them, but also um, you can get them at the library, right? I borrow mm -hmm. books from the library all the time. And I love it because now with the technology, they are audible books on the library. So then yeah. when I'm doing my work, I'm listening to a book and I didn't have to purchase it. And, and then verify your sources. If you're not reading a book, but if you're looking on the internet, make sure that you're verifying your sources. Right. So I hear, I hear what you're saying. And I appreciate your time and sharing this information with, with me. So I'm interested in learning about what you do in Colombia. Do you have free seminars or do you do anything of value to people there? Yeah, we, uh, well, usually uh, a boundary will be the distance, but thanks to technology, I mean, you can be in any part of the world and, and, and help other people in the other side. Yeah. So we've been doing uh, free masterminds, we've been doing free webinars and on leadership, personal growth, development. And we have a, a live event in September. So, so we've been working, this, I know September is probably three months uh, away, yeah. but, but still we've been working since last year, uh, creating the audience, um, getting all the people, making, making, making the noise. So people create the awareness, you know? Um, we have all kind of audience. We have people that, that are business owners. We have employees. Uh, we have individuals that, that want to start growing. Couples, for example, you know, uh, that's. I, I think I like I like when I see a couple growing together, because uh, if 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 you are growing and your partner is not growing, then uh, the perfect example is like a like a radio. Then you switch to FM and your partner is, is still on an AM. So it's, it's, it's not, there is no communication at, at one point. Yeah, so, yeah. so I like when people grow together, when the people uh, invest together. And, uh, and we're seeing results, even though it's uh, virtual, we're seeing the results. People, some testimonies of people that are uh, influence, influencing others, changing, changing their lives. Um, and, and it's all about that, it's just, creating, being, being um, a river, not a reservoir, so. Well, I like that another, and thank you so much for sharing that because, you know, people need to hear this. So, so those people that are listening, um, and please like and share this video with us. It's gonna be on YouTube. Um, I appreciate, John, your time and your advice and wisdom that you've shared today. And I'm telling people here to listen to John's advice, to <clears throat> invest in yourself, to find a uh, local um, meeting place or something like that where you can go get some influence and grow yourself because then you can make very informed decisions. And thank you again, John. I'm very humbled for share you sharing. My pleasure. And <clears throat> thank you so much. And. I'm going to call it, um, I'm, call, call, I'm going to call it a goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity. And, and yes, just keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. And it, it say that a lot of people don't have a purpose or don't have a vision in life. Well, when you're growing, you discover your purpose. Once you discover your purpose, you can have your vision. And the goals that you set for you, those goals are steps to accomplish your vision. So, but everything, everything is start with your girl. Everything is start with you. So, thank so you. Thank you. For you right? Start with you. Thank you so much. My That's pleasure. Advice. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Over and out.